welcome students continuation with the earlier video how to work with the nested master pages now already in the last video we had worked with a one master page and its content page so site one dot master is our master page which consists of content placeholder and the common contents and whereas your aspx page is the child of the master page we can understand this thing by using the attribute like master page file and there is a contain control which are linked with the contain placeholder now i would like to understand how to work with the nested master page it means the child of a master page so how to do it it's quite easy give a right click now one master page is already with me so i'm taking the help of the same master page the master page currently will be having a common contain like welcome and copyrights now here i'm creating the child master page so for doing it i give a right click on master page selected add and selected the option that is web form master page but ye nahi chalega hum log ko dusra option lagega so i'm just given a click on the new item and selecting the master and here it shows web form master page nested then further add given a click on add it asks me that this is a new master page which you are adding it is the child of which master page so i am selecting over here site one dot master so this is what my child master page looks like my contained page only and genuinely it looks like a contained page only so here i am planning to add one h1 by saying this is child master page and inside it i need to add up a contained placeholder so here i am adding the contained placeholder over here and inside this contained placeholder i should not add the contained because the contained from the contained placeholder will be added from the child page the child page of master page 1 master maybe i can provide over here h2 uh this is from child master page fine the age the contains are added up now now i need to create a content page which is a child of nested master page one how to do it quite easy right click over here selected the option add and now you can again select the option web form with the master page but when you are selecting web form with master page it will be asking you it is the child of which master page if you are selecting it is the child of site one dot master then there is a concept of master page and contain page and if you are selecting it is the child of nested master page then there is a concept of main master page child master page and then the contained page so at given click on okay you will find only one content is added now here i am planning to add up some content by saying h1 this is a child of nested master page please look at the design you will understand how it looks this welcome is of site one dot master this is of the child master page this is of a contained page this is of a child master page and this is of your site one dot master so this is a simple way so if you want that there has to be companies logo on a top on every page but depending on what is a user the changes are going to be there in the structure like for admin the different navigation bar should be displayed for a staff a different navigation bar to be displayed then those can be managed by using this nested master page i can just try to run the page and see the output how the output looks so this page is displayed with a combination of main master page child master page and the contained page so all the values are been merged and those values are being updated to you so this is a simple way by which you can implement nested master pages so thanks a lot student in the next video we will try to understand how to access the control values of master page inside the contained pages